How do you see farming conditions changing in the near future? You know, in, in the conventional side, I see a consolidation. There's uh, fewer farmers, uh, bigger farms. Um, there's a lot of high technology with the genetic altering um, that's taking place that uh, is, is uh, peculiar to them. The organic farming is not in genetic altering. Um, I think that uh, we're seeing a growth in the demand for organic grown products and people want to know where their food comes from and how it's produced and are concerned about health quality in that in a way I think that has not been seen in um, previous generations. Um, so I'm not sure where it's going to all land because uh, there's two, there's two uh, schools of thought and um, they aren't coming uh, together necessarily at this time. Uh, I think there always will be a, a good opportunity for organic farming, but it all has to be done with an eye to the future because uh, um, the things that we do now in this type of operation will affect what happens years ahead. And so it's, uh, it, it takes a broad uh, outlook, you know, to uh, to pull it all together. I think the local foods is going to be a bigger push all the time. Mm -hmm. um, I think the more the consumer is gets educated, I think the more it's going to go towards the local over any certification and anything. Mm -hmm. I think they'll they'll want to know, you know, this is your beef, this is your grain, your every you know everything. Um, it's kind of scary with the way people are tearing up pasture and planting every inch. It's, it's scary. Um, you know, you see both sides. Um, I'm glad what we're doing. You know, I think there's more of a uh, future here than some of the places. And if the trends keep up, the farming, there's fewer and fewer farms in America as time goes on. Quickly. And um, to counter that though, however, organic farms are growing. There's an increase in the, the number of organic farms. And there's more smaller farms. And a lot of smaller farms are, are getting started up. And so, you know, when the, the mass of agriculture is actually kind of in this decline and concentration of land into, into a few, um, there's a kind of an upsurgence of, mm -hmm. uh, of small organic farms and it's like that's the that's the sector of agriculture that's growing unfortunately farms will probably keep getting bigger and bigger and and rural communities will probably keep getting smaller and smaller because we're it's not doesn't take as many people to operate farms as what it used to and it'd be great if we could turn that around i don't know if we'll be able to you're competing against things like the markets that are out there uh, federal farm programs or more conducive to larger and larger farms you know over the last decades that's just what they've pushed for uh, so that's a challenge to be able to you know we'd really like to revitalize rural communities because if you don't have strong rural communities you won't have strong um, you know schools and churches and things like that so trying to maintain or even repopulate our rural com communities would be a fun direction to go in the future, but also a very challenging one. I think um, organic, you know, is definitely growing. I think the awareness of, of you know, food quality and just healthy, um, health conscious people wanting to eat, you know, more local and maybe have less um, exposure to pesticides is something that's definitely growing. So I, I think there's, you know, potential for the market to expand. I, I, I think 20% annual growth is about what's been happening annually um, in the last 10 years, so that sounds good. Now, has uh, farming always been your main source of income, or have you had other jobs along no, the way? Yeah, my, my husband also has a construction business that kind of supports our farming habit, we joke. <laughs> but no. we're trying. The farm, actually, the vegetables are now carrying themselves pretty well, and the newest 
part of our, our business is the goats and we're still you know, trying to figure out how to break even with them. But hopefully someday soon we'll be making tons of money with goat cheese. I think um, we're going to see more of the same. I think we're going to see more consolidation and I think we're going to see more um, effic efficiency and production methods so the bigger guys are going to continue to get bigger. But I think there's going to be a continued growth in the small farm sector where there are value-added enterprises and I think people are just looking for something different. So we're going to see more of both and the middle guy, I think, is going to continue to get squeezed out. What is the most challenging thing about your farm? I think the most challenging thing here is just how many different things there are to do, where um, it's really hard to keep all the balls in the air sometimes. Um, you have to keep track of so many different things um, all the time. And as we grow our business, I suppose every growing business will um, say that they have to work on communication and uh, devise systems to make things work well.